Welcome to the special episode of Palaces in Paradise. Today we open with the West Coast and these breathtaking palaces for sale. We begin with a tour of the iconic Palm Springs mansion of the one and only Elizabeth Taylor. Today, you will meet the real estate agent selected to represent this amazing mansion. Plus, you will see and hear about Elizabeth Taylor's personal life in Palm Springs and see the palaces she lived in. We had the pleasure of being here today with Brian Cupid at Elizabeth Taylor's former Palm Springs estate. So Brian, what has made you one of the most successful uh, real estate agents in the Palm Springs area? Well, what I, what I think it is, and thank you for having me, I'm helping people buy and sell homes, but my main goal is to help them through the process, you know, build those relationships and just, uh, you know, cause it, it can be a very stressful thing. You know, so, I mean, I've lost many, many nights of sleep myself, but uh, so honestly, it's just helping people. That's awesome, Brian. Thank you. Is this one of the most unique homes that you've ever this, represented? This is uh, one of the most unique homes I've ever represented, just with this history of, you know, Elizabeth Taylor. You know, she lived here from 2004 to 2011. Just been uh, amazing. My sellers are amazing also. I've learned so much. So please tell us more about this beautiful property. No, oh, absolutely. This property is located in a very special part of Palm Springs called Old Las Palmas. Old Las Palmas is, is known for the utmost privacy. Uh, this house is 4,216 square feet with three bedrooms in the primary house and then a detached casita. Something that I always point out to any agent that brings their buyers to this house are the two private patios off of each bathroom in the primary suites. It's spectacular. And I'm sure we want to hear more about Elizabeth Taylor. No, absolutely. So Elizabeth Taylor lived here from 2004 to 2011. And just the stories that I've heard have just been amazing to hear. One of the ones that stands out to me was in the very beginning. They, I don't remember which Christmas it was, but they brought snow in around the entire facility here and just wow. had a, a great time. Oh, how fun. Yeah. We have a special treat here. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Mitchell. He was a property manager for 16 years for Elizabeth Taylor's estate. What can you tell us about Elizabeth Taylor, Mr. Mitchell? Well, over the years, I mean, there's so many personal and family stories. And we go out for dinner and in a limo and where there'd be encounters, like we'd go to a movie. I remember one time and one woman came out screaming hysterically, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. And she gently grabbed her hand and said, well, just relax, it's just me. <laughs> and she just, I mean, she had that effect on people. She brought you down to earth. She was very, very down to earth. And some of the jewelry that she brought out was just exquisite. I mean, it was incredible. The one piece that she had, I remember, it was a, uh, a leopard or a tiger that she had on. It was three dimensional. Mm -hmm. And it was the, the tiger leopard looking down into a pond at its reflection. And it was just like nothing I've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. It was just so typical of what she, what she, would, what she would design. Mm -hmm. It was really, really incredible. And like I said, so many personal and family memories. Mm -hmm. I could go, you know, on and on, but this was definitely her, her desert getaway. And I was humbled to be able to work with someone like her, to be able to, you know, take care of her and travel with her and just with all her valiant work with HIV AIDS. I mean, I had to sort of like tap myself every once in a while, was this real? Mm -hmm. You know, that I'm actually spending time with someone like this. And yet she was so down to earth. She was just incredible. She always made you feel at home. Oh, she sounded really neat. Thank you for sharing that. Really, that's great. 